Welcome to Space to Ground. I'm Leah Cheshire. This week, a dragon arrived to the space station for a month-long stay. On May 4th, SpaceX launched their 17th commercial resupply mission to the space station. This Dragon capsule, which flew to the station once before on SpaceX's 12th resupply mission, arrived to the orbiting laboratory on May 6, bringing with it about 5,500 pounds of supplies. Canadian Space Agency astronaut David St. Jock commanded the Canada Arm 2 to grapple the spacecraft. Then, ground controllers berthed the vehicle to the station's Harmony module, where it will remain for about a month. Astronauts will spend the next few weeks unpacking and reloading Dragon for an eventual safe splashdown. We know it's important to take our vitamins, and future astronauts might be getting them from an unexpected source. The microalgae study is looking at a tiny freshwater green algae that is capable of producing a powerful antioxidant when stressed. Researchers believe exposing it to microgravity could stress the algae into producing this antioxidant, which has been shown to support the immune system and could protect against the effects of radiation exposure, eye damage, cardiovascular system damage, and bone loss. Something like this could be a critical dietary boost as we send humans on longer and longer space missions and set our sights on returning astronauts to the moon by 2024. This week's question comes from Renee, who asks if Dragon is the sixth vehicle to dock at the space station and if there's room for any more. As a matter of fact, there is. On Monday, Dragon became the sixth vehicle currently docked to the station, joining Cygnus 11, Soyuz 11 and 12, and Progress 71 and 72. One more parking spot will be available for commercial crew vehicles Starliner and Crew Dragon on the forward-facing port, where the space shuttle docks before. Keep sending in your questions using the hashtag AskNASA. We'll see you next week.